Okay, this project is called Mutagenic Mist, and it's an opportunity for the audience to come and taste and smell a particular plant that they've probably eaten a number of times uh, during their life, but to do it in a way that they're very conscious and critical of where it came from. So in this here vortex cannon, which makes these great clouds that you can smell and taste, is a peppermint oil that's made from Todd's Mitchum peppermint. And this is a variety of peppermint that was developed in the USA's radiation breeding program. So behind me is an archival uh, film from 1952 that talks about the early days of radiation breeding. And radiation breeding is this process where uh, plants or seeds are exposed to radiation, like cobalt-60. A lot of the plants die, but those that survive are then bred to see if they have special properties, like they might be blight tolerant, or they might be larger. So these programs induce random mutations as a way to uh, help uh, agronomy. And all these programs uh, came about after World War II when countries who had nuclear programs tried to find peaceful uses for nuclear, uh, nuclear technology. Todd's Mitchum peppermint is actually the most ubiquitous radiation bred plant on the planet Earth because it's in uh, peppermint oil and 90% of the peppermint oil in the world comes from the U.S. and they grow this specific varietal. So this, uh, the viewer comes in and they press down on here, they create a mist and then they smell it and then they taste it and hopefully after they watch the video and they read about it, they're a little bit more conscious of where even seemingly innocuous plants like peppermint actually come from and how they're produced. And this piece also points to the controversies in genetically modified food and how they parallel controversies that happened over 50 years ago.